Hello YouTube. So instead of transferring ROMs, I'm going to show you how to run ROMs directly off of a USB stick. So it's similar to transferring ROMs, you'll create a folder on the USB stick, and in this case it'll be called retropy-mount. So you'll create that folder and eject it, and then plug it into the Pi. And so what this is doing is it's copying over the RetroPie folder system onto the USB stick. So if you've got a lot of ROMs on your micro SD card, uh, you want to make sure your USB stick's large enough. I usually just use a fresh image and copy the file system over there and then just keep all of my ROMs directly on the USB. And I never keep anything on the SD card. So that way if it corrupts or have any other issues, it doesn't really matter. I can re-image because I re-image about once a week anyways with my testing. And so I've always got my system run, running and set up on my USB stick, regardless of what happens to the SD. So it looks like it's finished copying. So I'm going to pull it out and plug it back in my uh, PC, just so you can see uh, why, what's been put onto it. So plug it back on to my PC. It'll pop up, and I'm going to ignore that warning. All right. So... Out, and we'll go into the ROMs. And so I've transferred some games over previously, and it looks like I've also got some uh, save states, so it kept those as well. And so let's just, for kicks and giggles, uh, actually, we will remove it and put it back on the Pi, and then we're going to transfer over a file just so you can see that when you transfer things onto the USB when it's mounted it doesn't transfer over to the SD card and so plug it in and show you that so I'm going to hook up over Samba shares and hope it loads sometimes it's a bit quirky when you're mounting and dismounting it alright so go to ROMs and yes, All right. so we'll create a folder, we'll call this one test, and then we'll go and pull out the USB drive, and so you saw it was blinking when I was creating the test, so you could see it's being written to the USB. So pull it out, and then we'll see if it wants to play nice. Alright, so it shows up as blank, so that's not a big deal. Either it's trying to figure itself out right now, and sometimes it won't, which is fine. You can just go over SSH or something, or log in, and just reboot it. And that should refresh the file system. So don't be afraid if it looks like you've lost everything. You probably haven't, you just need to reboot it and it'll get all refreshed. So if you remember, if we create the test file on the USB stick, it shouldn't show up uh, once we've removed it. So it's rebooted. So it looks like the file system's back, so that's good. And we'll go back to the NES. All right, so the test folder's not there. So everything's on the USB stick. So hopefully this video is helpful. Uh, it's really nice, it makes things real convenient, you don't ever have to re-scrape or anything like that, you don't worry about losing things if your SD corrupts. I think it's a more proper way of handling things and you can store more things, it's cheaper than SD cards. Um, so if that's something that will work for your system, I highly recommend it. Uh, and so yeah, hopefully this makes your life a little easier. Until next time.